Bushes is here. You ever wondered uh, how far your magnetic field actually uh, comes off of your magnets? Well, I made this uh, real cheap, uh, simple uh, magnetic field tester to see how far the field actually comes off the magnet. It's a real simple concept. Just has some LEDs and a reed switch up in here and uh, then a little uh, beeper on there. I'll throw a little uh, simple circuit uh, picture diagram in, in the video but uh, show you what this thing does here is uh, when you're when you cross the magnetic field there you can see how far away this magnet is before it actually goes. That's how far your field actually extends. Notice that on the side of your magnet the field's not as strong you got to get closer so anyway these are some things you could take in consideration when you're building your generator so that you know exactly how far away from your uh, coils that you actually have to be for example uh, I've got this one right here this little mini generator that I made and uh, of course it's kind of messed up right at the moment <laughs> Either way, you can see there's a gap in between there. I can actually uh, reduce that uh, that gap or bring that gap farther away and still be within the field and have less drag on my flywheel. So you'll still get the magnetic pulse that you need to uh, pulse your coil. The, the, obviously, closer you are to your coil down here the the stronger the field's going to be when it pulses out but you'll still get energy without having to, to uh, have so much force behind it anyway uh, got different types of magnets here's a little uh, neodymium round kind of magnet here <laughs> you notice that uh, the field's not, not as strong that way as it is that way. And we got a little ceramic magnet. A little tiny cheapo ceramic magnet. And you notice you almost got to get right on top of that before it'll, before it'll kick on. Here's another cheapo chunk of ceramic magnet. Notice you got to get real close to it before it'll actually kick on. And here's a neodymium hard drive magnet. See on the side, you got to get right up on it. And out here, that's about. That's about how far away you can be and still pulse your coil. Now, one other thing to think about is these hard drive magnets right here. A buddy of mine, uh, Muddy Mudman on uh, uh, Green Wind and other home uh, energies, he told me about uh, the strength of the magnet. This metal piece that's on the back there actually helps to make that... Uh, a little bit stronger. You see how much further away that I can get with that metal piece on the back there? That's a lot larger gap than we had with this one right here. See the di difference in the distance? I'm going to try to get this level here. Yeah, okay, there's that there's how far you can be with that one. Now the one with the metal still attached to it. Look at the difference in there. So uh, that apparently that piece of metal right there make, could make all the world a difference on how strong your uh, coil pulses and everything. Now this is just a simple, simple little uh, circuit right here. I'm going to make a, uh, a more advanced one that will tell you actual north and south I'm going to do that using a hall switch a hall switch is just a little gizmo that whenever it passes 
it will tell you it, it can distinguish between north and south pole and so like I'll add another light down here and a light over here and the hall switch over here at the top and so when it passes across it will actually tell me which side is north and which side is south anyway I just want to share that with you it's really nothing high tech to it sorry about the blurry and the shaky hands there basically all this here is I have a little piezoelectric uh, beeper and I have in the center the red uh, diode it has uh, one uh, one resistor connected to it because I um, it's it's connected by itself and these four LEDs are connected together in series and those four LEDs are connected in series and the both pairs are connected in parallel and then the uh, resistor and the LED is connected in parallel with all of that and then there is a read switch in between there that opens and closes the circuit whenever the magnet comes past and once again our strong magnet because of the metal on the back all right well I wanted to share that with you so uh, if you get some magnets and you want to make you a crude version of this uh, it basically tell you how far away your field is uh, there's a lot of different uh, uh, magnetic field testers that are more sensitive using hall switches that can actually pick up the uh, magnetic field off of your appliances and uh, I'm gonna build me one of those as well probably when I put the hall sensors on here <coughs> it'll pick up the field off of uh, appliances as well as just uh, the strong magnetic field of the uh, deal there so essentially I'll have a two-in-one gizmo when I'm done I'll have uh, north and south light on there and these the face on this will only light up whenever it has a strong magnet a super strong magnetic field such as the uh, magnets there and then the hall sensors will pick up anything electrical like I got behind me if I run it past a uh, electric motor or whatever the hall switches uh, pick up the field because they're more sensitive anyway there it is people uh, hope you liked the video Give me a thumbs up if you want to see some more of this jazz. Peace and love, everybody.